wanting to add letters or Instagram handle to the doors and to the back of the camper for ages and I've been looking um, but apparently not in the right places and I couldn't find who could help us um, do that like print it or cut it or whatever um, and we were about to give up and then we were walking around here in Kirkenes when we just arrived and I saw a graphic designer which on the side of its building also said they did vinyl for cars. Ha. So we went in yesterday morning, they uh, were really happy to help us um, and they said that they would do a rush job and have it ready by tomorrow morning, which is today. So we are cleaning the car and then we're going to get the lettering and put it on. <laughs> started this trip I told Martin that I didn't want to go to a country that was next to the Russian border well jokes on me because we are near the Russian border right now we are in Norway in Rense Jakobself which is um, really close the border runs in a river and uh, you drive on one side of the river there are even Norwegian border soldiers who inform the tourists about what they can and cannot do near the border. They are very friendly, and we even made a picture with one of them. It is um, 11 p.m. and Martin was walking Isa, and then he came in saying, oh, we're going to walk up the mountain because it's sunny again. It was raining before and it's so pretty and um, yeah, we just need to do this. So we're going to take a midnight hike. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down We heard from a German couple that beluga whales had been spotted just before we arrived yesterday and I was kind of sad we missed them. We were trying to decide whether to stay another night just to be able to see them when there they were. 
Seeing the whales was amazing and our not so sharp images don't do this experience justice. However, we did want to share this with you. Look at these amazing creatures. We saw eight whales and the people that had binoculars also think they saw two babies with the group. After seeing the whales and my very cold dive in the Barentssee, we decided to go to Vardø. You could see the islands from Grense Jakobself, but it was still almost a 5 hour drive. We drove back over the same bad road that took us to the border. Isa doesn't like all those bumps and holes in the road. She spends a lot of her time either demanding to get petted or jumping on Natalie's lap for extra safety and support. In the end, Vardo was just a bit too far and we found a nice wild camping spot where we baked pancakes and went to bed early. Good morning! Um, in the middle of the night it started to rain, um, pouring rain and it's still raining. Um, we slept really well because of it and uh, we don't mind the rain, it's been weeks since we've had this much rain. But it's a great work day, so we are going to a place where they have electricity um, and work for the day. Because yes, these YouTube videos don't make themselves. Um, and I also still have my business um, for creatives that I uh, run, so I need to work on that. Oh, and we want to find a shower. weird that we like this weather better than the 30 plus that we had in Finland. When we were in the tourist office I also had a little chat with the lady behind the desk and she told us um, everything that we can do here which is a lot so we are hoping the rain clears up and we um, have some time here tomorrow and maybe the day after um, but she also told me about the only pub that they have here on Varde um, and she says you know you should come tonight <laughs> shirt on um, and he got a new shirt so yeah it's fun to go to the pub and and dress up for a change I think Martin is not used to alcohol anymore he had two beers two beers people and, and now he's now he's funny by the way, I had nothing to drink, just to be clear. Met Scarlet Kvart. <laughs> <laughs> 